prospectors out there. It's uh, Commander Kingfish here, and I am getting ready to head down to the planet's surface to do another mission. I'm going to check the loadout first, and I think what I want to do is... Uh, well, first off, the workshop is global, so my other character is also helping out this character in what I am able to select and what I've researched. So I've researched a better knife, a better pickaxe, and a better axe. And so we will take those down. We're going to take those down to the surface with us. This is one of the things I finally learned that, that this stuff uh, you can take back and forth. Anything you craft down there on the planet stays down there and when you come back is destroyed so you never get to keep anything down there at least wise from what I've been seeing uh, so far now maybe at some point you're going to be able to keep a persistent uh, cabin but uh, I don't think I'm anywhere near that yet so we've got our cargo and our drop ship let's uh, get back to home and we need to select a new prospect and we're going to do so we've done the beachhead re recon we've done the live wire tarion scan we are now going to do the headstone geo survey uh, that's got uh, six days uh, looks like they've trimmed that a little bit so we only got six days for it uh, so let's uh, go ahead and get started on it. It's, it's not going to take us that long, but that's what we're going to go ahead Denial and do. might be a pack of wolves, but they're wolves with cash. Welcome back. Yoneo's looking for detailed geodata from the surface. One area in particular has really got their attention. Exotics, most likely. They want someone to drop down, set up a survey system, and beam the data back up here. You good for this? Yeah, we're good for this. Let's claim the prospect. And we've got our cargo and our drop ship, so let's uh, confirm our loadout. Uh, I always put it at private, but I don't have any friends listed anyway. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and... Head down to the planet's surface. It's an interesting game. I think some of the concepts in it uh, have a few people kind of uh, up about it. Uh, I think uh, the one thing you got to be careful of is is uh, making sure you finish the prospect in the time limit that's provided. If you don't then your character completely goes away. You've got to start a brand new character. So if you were a level 20 or a level 30 and you fail to, to get back to complete that prospect, then you're out of luck. So it's important to, to know your time you know, time. I don't frames. care who you are, so long as you deliver. So that's fine. We are planning on delivering. We've been on Icarus a few years now. But the place is still a black box. Yuneo is planning to change that. They want geological data and lots of it. They need you to go set up three survey stations. Something about tectonic movement. I don't know. I'm no geologist, but it always comes down to exotics in the end. Without much data, you'll need a central uplink to beam it up here. Locations are marked on your map. You'll find supply crates dropped nearby each site with the tech you need. And be careful. Wildlife seems to resent this kind of thing. Good luck, friend. Okay, well, shoot. Let's, uh... Uh... First thing we need to do is... Well, we've actually got a pickaxe, so let's do this. Uh, I actually need to sort those differently. 
let's see, the pickaxe goes here, the axe goes there, and the knife goes there. So, we're going to start with our pickaxe, and I think we need to find a good rock. This is one of the tips and tricks that I've learned. Create a central spawn point, and I think I think this spot right here will work out just nicely. I think. We're going to get it set up first. So, we're going to carve this out so that we can put our bedroll here. And that will be our spawn point if we run into any difficulties. Get this uh, built out. We'll be able to get a campfire set up. This will give us a place to go uh, if any storms hit. And really kind of a, a nice central little base camp. Now I see a cave over there. Uh, although I'm not too interested in getting into caves just yet. Because I don't think we're... We haven't got our tech tree up to where we can utilize any of the stuff that you find in the caves. Uh, we can build a hut, and we will, uh, but we haven't unlocked level 10, and that's what we're going to work on this morning is getting to level 10. All right, let's keep going on this. So, le level 10 opens up another set of crafting tables, or sets, sets up our crafting table. So instead of messing around trying to, to build a hut right off the bat, that's what this is going to be for, just to give us a spawn point. Make sure we got everything off the floor. Oh, I hear the wolves. All right, let's... Uh, we're going to need to craft a bow. And so I need to get fiber and sticks. We're going to get to level 10. Is what we're working to get to this morning. And... So we don't need to get too excited. Uh, let's see here. We have, we do have a water container, uh, but we got to get to level 10 so we can build a water jug. So let's get a drink of water here. Uh, we need to look at the map as well. Where did they drop us? Well, this looks a little different than where they normally been dropping us. Uh, actually, so where is that? So, okay, there's where all of our geocodes are. We've got uh, where we're at right here. Looks like we've got a lake right there. Uh, and so that's what we're going to kind of keep an eye on. So let's gather up some of these. Oh, I'm in stealth mode. All right. So we're working on this. Let's get... Make sure we don't... So. All right. I am also going to craft a set of these because we'll probably use most of those most of the time because uh, as you can see we're they're wearing out and so uh, using it just to kind of get started with so 
now that we've got these into place, let's put these up in our inventory. And, all right, I think that's pretty good for now. That gives us a, a place to get into in the storms. Uh, we've got to build a campfire. So we can do that right now. Let's craft that. And then we will deploy it right here in front. Uh, right about there, I think, should be good. There we go. I think we can still get in here. Yeah, I think that's going to work out nicely. Okay, so next thing we got to do is work on our bedroll. So we're going to need fur. We actually got to get the bow created. So we need... Uh, we've got fiber. Let's go grab some more sticks. And... I see a bunch of wheat. That's good for leveling. We can't use it yet, but it really... Really helps gather up. Because you can just kind of stand here. So let's just do some of that. The sooner we get to level 10, the better off we will be. I can hear the wolves in and around. So you can see we're really... We're going to just end up dropping this stuff. But it is... It's good for really... Alright, so let's go ahead and just drop this stuff. We don't need it. Now it is, you can use it in medicines later on once we get that unlocked. Uh, so let's uh, see. Alright. Oh, sticks. That's what I was after. Why am I always in stealth mode? And let's see if we've got enough. No, not quite. We need uh, a few more. Grab that. Grab that. We need all of this stuff. Well, and, it, and I say, I haven't figured it out yet, but uh, my equipment that I bring from the station, uh, I haven't figured out how to repair it down here on the ground yet. So that is one of the reasons why I'm being very careful with it. Use it for when I start mining minerals and... Uh, Let's see how many arrows. What's the max? Oh, we don't need 36. So let's cut that down to 15. Let's craft that. There we go. Okay. Well, we can start hunting. Because we're going to need fur for our bedroll. Let's see what we got around here. What did I hear? I heard something. I'll take these berries. This is helpful. We can use that in medicines and... Oh! It's buff! Well, let's take buff out. Oh! Well, 
Well, shoot. Okay. All right, let's go in stealth. Oh. It's the pig. grab our arrows and our first bit of fur now I shouldn't be using this knife on him uh, let's do this real quick craft and we're gonna use this knife Oh, a wolf already, huh? Okay. All right. We'll take you on. I need to get uh, get this meat going. We've got the campfire. Uh, let's go chop a tree down real quick. Hopefully, we'll uh, clear this area out. Grab those berries. All right. What's in oh, there's another wolf already. Holy smokes. Three. Three. God, there's two of them there already. Come on. Boy, they're coming at me uh, fast and furious. We're going to level up fairly quickly th uh, this way. Let's take all of it. Now, the knives you can craft down here, I uh, discovered that you can't use on buff the buffalo. And uh, you got to use the ones, leastwise the ones that I brought from the station. I'm assuming that you'll eventually be able to craft knives down here. Uh, that you can use on them, but the bone knife and speaking of that, let's get a bone. Oh, we're not quite there yet. Oh, we need wood Okay, so we were about ready to chop this tree down So let's get this knocked down So you the so I use the bone knife and the regular the first knife that you can craft down here uh, so that uh, I kind of save the other one for the special things like uh, carving big animals like the buffalo all right that should give us enough we'll come back and huh. we'll come back and get the rest of that but let's get uh, get this wood into the fire and then that way we can start getting our meat going. Uh, oh, I should have. Well, we'll get some more. Uh, let's get this. Let's activate this. And we'll get that going. All right. Close. We, we really do need... need to get that meat so that we can uh, uh, get uh, so 
What am I trying to say? We need the meat because that gives us buffs to uh, help our health and that sort of thing. So let's. Uh, all right. I think we should have enough now to let's let's do this. Let's craft our bedroll. Let's craft that. Uh, let's move this knife over and we'll move this knife up and this knife can come up here all right now let's let's see if this bedroll is going to work over here I hope hope we've got this dug it out enough okay And come on. It requires shelter. We're not far enough back. Let's let's pick this up. And let's chip this out some more. Let's get down. That should be enough. Let's see if we can deploy it now. Come on. Oh, crap. I'm on fire. Great. I haven't done that before. We're going to have to get that fire out of the way, I think. We can't stand in the fire. Come on. Why are you not... You should... Alright. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Let's grab our meat. Oh, well, we got six of them already. That's good. Let's deactivate this. We'll grab this. Uh, we'll, we don't need that yet. Let's destroy the charcoal. And grab our wood. Close. Let's uh, pick this up. And... All right, now let's see if we can deploy this in there. I know this is going to work. Just got to have the right rock. All right. Let's uh, carve this out a little bit more. Sides. Okay. All right. God, that's got to that that's got to be enough. I hope. All right, let's deploy this. Come on. Let's try that. I don't think that's... No. Well, this rock is not going to work. Let's, uh... We're going to have to find a different rock.
And how about this one? How's it look? Oh, I need water. I need water. Let's uh let's get a drink of water over here. Okay. And I need more food. Let's uh consume that. All right. This is turning out to be a bit more difficult. I thought that was going to be a good rock down there. Uh, it will work in a pinch f for, well, you know what, as I'm looking at it, that's got to work. Let's carve it out a little higher, and maybe that's part of the problem. Gaining XP as we're doing this, so. This basically is going to be our shelter for, for a while. Alright. Let's try this again. Let's see if we can get this. Let's deploy this. Oh, I think it's going to work this time. All right. Yeah, that's shelter. Okay. So we're good. We na Let's set our spawn point. I sometimes forget to do that. There we go. All right. We now have a spawn point. We have a place to get in and out of the weather. I just didn't uh, chip it out high enough, I guess. All right. Now we need to... Now we can deploy our campfire ring. And that should be close enough. Let's kind of set it off to the side a little bit right here. I think that should be. We'll find out. Uh, we can get this going now. Get the rest of our meat back in. Get our wood going. Okay. There we go. Now we can also, we've got s plenty of stone. Let's uh, craft one of these. Uh, and we can deploy it. Where'd it go? All right. Deploy. And then we can kind of start building out a little bit of... Uh, let's put that right there. There we go. And we'll start building a little fortress here, is what we're going to start doing. Uh, we got enough... Let's... Yeah, let's uh, craft one more. We're going to get plenty of stone. And let's uh, deploy it. And we'll start on this side as well. There we go. All right. What's next? All right, we've got that. Oh, we need to start uh, building our armor. Let's go ahead and craft a head. Craft that. And we need to go get oxygen. Let's craft that. And craft the boots. There we go, we just need legs, all right. Uh, we better go, uh, we better eat something. And let's consume some berries. Better eat some more. Let's get our oxygen going here. And I saw some oxide right up here.
Where did I see it at? There's some. All right, let's come over here and grab this oxite. And the other thing that I'm going to do is put my good tools back in the well, yeah, put my good tools back into the cargo ship for right now. All right, so we can do this. There we go. All right, so that helps our... Oh, we can use this for medicinal purposes. All right, so we got winds coming in. So we can stay out and work in this, but... We don't have to worry about about our shelter. It's not going to get blown away. All right. Let's... I need to put this into the cargo ship. I want to put the knife I'll carry... I'm going to go ahead and put these in right here. All right. And we can stay out here until we start taking some damage. Might as well just continue to work our way. We're almost to level 10. All right. We're starting to get some damage, but... You could still work out here for quite a bit, actually. So we're just trying to get some XP right now. And so let's check out our shelter. We should be able to kind of kneel down and just kind of come back and in here and we're out of the storm. Let's. Uh, that. We can't use that. So we're just going to destroy that for now. Okay. Uh, we can reach our campfire from right here. Uh, we can grab the rest of our meat out. And we're going to have to, as soon as the storm passes, we're going to have to start doing some more hunting. But let's uh, repair our pickaxe for right now. If you look at our crafting, we don't really have anything that we need. Uh, uh, maybe a wooden box. Uh, I can finish crafting that. But maybe a wooden... Well, we haven't even unlocked that yet. Uh, so there's really nothing that we need to worry about a shelter to speak of at this point. Uh, we'll eventually start unlocking these over here, but this, uh, what we want to start unlocking next, I think, yeah, that's level 10. So we hit level 10, we'll be able to unlock the crafting table, uh, and then there's some things in here. Get the crafting table. We can unlock a water skin and, and longbow. And that's probably what I'm going to do is get those two items there along with the crafting table. Uh, let's go back to tier one. And so we would be able to build a basic shelter Let's see. Floor, walls, roof, corner, corner pieces, and doors. Yeah, we would be able to build a basic shelter to put that workbench on. All right. Let's 
see here. Ah, got away from us. What else can we hunt out here? We're getting really close to level 10. I saw us. All right. Let's go in stealth mode. That should help. Storm should pass here pretty soon. Okay, fine. Well, I see some sofa over here. We're going to need some, a little bit of that. to level 10. See, these these lower tech items work just about as good. You don't get quite as much melee action. And I'm, you know, uh, but uh, to be honest with you, they, they seem to work pretty well. All right, uh, let's head back down. It's, we can, uh, here's the other thing about having the shelter set up. And we're going to be able to take advantage of being able to sleep. So... There we go. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, let's kneel down, get out of here. Okay. All right. Let's get a hunting expedition. All right. There's got to be something around here. Oh, we better get a drink of water, I guess. We need to get, uh... Oh, I see something over here. All right. in the water. Okay. All right. Come on, where are y'all at? I don't want to shoot him in the water. That deer going to come out over here. Ah. Okay, let's... 
Oh, come on now. That. How come that did not? Ah. Uh, hunting has started out kind of bad. Usually I'm a little. Oh, here, here we go. Well, come on. All right. Well, come back here. not in stealth mode that you know what I found that if you're not in stealth mode you have a hard time hunting or you're hard, getting good hits okay there All right, now let's see. As soon as I went into stealth mode, oh, let's grab this. All right, we're almost there. I half expect the wolves to be coming around. Let's, uh, we need to get a little consume. Goats, goats, lots of goats. All right. Okay, let's uh, get back down to the campfire, get that meat going. That's a little more something. We're getting close. All right. More meat for the... Fire. There we go. All right, we've got our meat going. Let's uh, consume another one here. And let's check. Oh, we are getting so close. Actually, we can go out and do this. I need to clear this stuff out of here anyway. And there it is, leveled up. Level 10. We got two talent points and the crafting bench. And four blue point, or blueprints. All right, let's go ahead and select, get our talent points. I think we go over to solo over here. Uh, let's put one there. And let's get another one here under heavy handed. All right. Uh, let's unlock this. So that's there. All right. Uh, I wanted to. I need to unlock this and uh, we're not going to unlock that just yet because that requires some of this other stuff uh, but I wanted to unlock the longbow and that leaves one let's go back to tier one just make sure they didn't miss anything here Oh, I want uh, a floor torch. There we go. All right. All right. Well, you know what? That is a very good place to kind of stop the video here. Uh, I'm going to break this mission up into uh, two or three parts. And so we just now 
have kind of gotten ourselves established. Uh, let's take a look at the map again. We're going to have to head out to this area, and once we, uh, I think, uh, next video, then we're going to uh, see if we can't get out to, like, this one here and get that set up and established. So I know we'll be facing some challenges out and in there. But, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, fellow prospectors, I hope you uh, enjoy the video. I hope you learned some tricks and tips here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so stay tuned uh, and look for part two of the geo survey. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.